And of course, those shootings ended in a parliamentary hallway. Tonight, we can tell you precisely what happened in the drama's final seconds. Evan Solomon, host of Power and Politics, has our exclusive look at those details. Evan? Wendy, CBC News has now learned the dramatic details of exactly how the shooter, Michael Ziha Bebo, was finally stopped and killed at point blank range by the Sergeant at Arms, Kevin Vickers. Let me walk you through what happened. Here's the beginning. After exchanging gunshots with the parliamentary security team at the entrance of Center Block, that's right here, Bebo made his way to the end of the Hall of Honor, right down here. Let's go there now. At the end of it are these wooden doors. Those are the doors to the parliamentary library. Now, beside the library, these doors to the right is a small alcove protected by this pillar. And Bebo tucks himself right in there and hides. Now, Kevin Vickers' office is just around the corner from this. Let me show you that. It's just a few feet away. He's in here and he hears the gunshots. He grabs his sidearm. It's an automatic pistol. He exits his office and he immediately runs toward the pillar here. His team behind him here yell that the suspect is tucked into the alcove. Vickers then perches himself on one side of the pillar Bebo's on the other side. They are literally an arm's length from each other just around the pillar. Sources tell CBC that the sergeant at arms could actually see the barrel of the gun sticking out from behind the pillar. But he doesn't hesitate. Kevin Vickers takes his sidearm, dives around the pillar to the ground. While he's in the air, he spins to land on his back, firing upwards at Bebo, hitting Bebo as he himself hits the ground. Then Bebo drops, and Vickers continues to fire into Bebo, emptying his entire clip. As soon as Bebo hits the ground, the rest of the security team go in, and they too open fire. With this in mind, watch this now famous video shot by Josh Wingrove of the Globe and Mail of what exactly happened. You can actually hear Vickers shots followed quickly by the parliamentary security team as they follow him in. Wendy, that huge barrage of gunfire that we've all heard. Let me give you an idea of how many rounds were expended. If you look at that alcove today, this is what you would see. There are nine bullet holes in the wall. This would be where Bebo himself was standing, let alone the number of rounds that actually hit Bebo. In fact, of one bullet actually was, didn't even hit the alcove. It went right through the library doors right into the library. That's a bullet hole in the desk of the library, deep inside the library. No one was injured. All right, what happened then? Vickers got off the ground. He calmly went back to his own office. He grabbed another clip for his gun to reload in case the threat remained. Then he walked back down the hall where the prime minister and the government was barricaded in their caucus room. He entered there. He went to a microphone, he explained the situation, and he said to them, I have engaged the suspect. The suspect is now deceased. There was a huge round of applause from all members of the Conservative caucus for him. He calmly walked out and continued to secure the grounds. And it's these actions that we're learning about for the first time tonight, Wendy, that have been so widely celebrated. Wendy. So remarkable, Evan, and just to think how much worse it could have been. Thanks so much, Evan. Evan Solomon in Ottawa tonight.